Well, welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me today. And uh, yeah, I've got myself on a nice uh, 2021 Speed Trip uh, Speed Twin um, 1200 from the lovely guys at Triumph. Cheers for that. Much appreciated. Um, right. Well, let's jump on and see what she's all about. So, uh, well, nice little pokey outy bit there on the side stand which is nice uh, no problems there well, anyway turn her on she brings in the life air um, we're in road we'll stick that in sport straight away clutch in oh we'll warm her up a bit I don't want to go too crazy just yet adjust these mirrors slightly got the bar end mirrors on here look like on my uh, street triple lovely looks good that uh, yeah anyway so uh, where were we yeah so out today on the new speed speed twin 1200 it's a high torque engine um, very nice. Uh, this is the matte. I think it's the matte storm grey. I think this colour. Let's warm the bike up a bit. So we're going through the lovely village of Watton. Yeah. Just trying to get gel with the bike a little bit. Nice and comfortable. Hopefully it's not going to rain. We've had a lot of rain. Uh, on the way over here but hopefully it's going to be dry it's a bit dull but hope the hope the footage is okay so anyway yeah where were we yeah so it's a 1200 cc liquid cooled eight valve um parallel twin this has got the the 270 degree crank um sounds absolutely gorgeous doesn't she absolutely gorgeous the bike will give you 90 98, just under 100 brake horsepower. I think it's 98.6 brake horsepower at 7,250 RPM. Uh, and 112 newton meters of torque, and we'll experience that in a bit, at 4,250 RPM. Oh, oh. I'll warm, so warm her up a bit. Um, yeah, lot, uh, lot of, like, quite a few changes. Hello, sir. Uh, quite a few changes in this. Uh, with this model um, we'll start with the the forks actually the suspension yeah we've got the 43 mil, 43 millimeter marzocchi forks i believe they're non-adjustable um, 120 millimeters of travel which sounds absolutely gorgeous yeah 120 millimeters of travel so far so good Ooh, ho, ho. Lovely. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the rear suspension, twin, uh, mono, uh, twi twin shocks on the rear. Uh, I believe they're adjustable for uh, for your preload. Uh, and again, 120 millimeters of travel. Seat fairly comfortable. Oh, sorry, I've only just jumped on at the moment, but um, all good. All good. I will reel off the specs as we go, but uh, like I say, I'll do a thorough walk round of the bike and uh, give, give you a more in-depth talk about the specifications. Absolutely gorgeous though. It's got the, the two into two um, stainless exhaust with a brushed, actually brushed stainless on these and I, did, I, I actually prefer that than the, the black you know the, the, the matte black exhausts um, I, I, that's my personal uh, sort of choice anyway oh I'll test the brakes in a bit actually nothing behind whoa yeah those brakes have got some punch let's try the rear actually the rear's pretty good pretty good there as well the front brakes it's got the twin uh, the floating Brembo's we're uh, 
20 millimeter twin discs with the monoblock radial mounted um, Brembo calipers, four pots on the front and there, there is some serious stopping power there. Right, so we're in sport mode at the moment, no messing about there and I'm, I've, it's in there straight away basically because I think we're going to get some rain so I'm going to kind of uh, check out the old sport mode before we get any, any downpours, <laughs> I hope we don't, but uh, yeah rear brakes, it's the, the single disc, three, uh, 220 millimeter single disc with the twin pot Nissan caliper on the rear. So hopefully the traffic will clear a bit and we'll wind her open a little bit, see what she's all about. Visibility through the mirrors, yeah very good, uh, very good, they, they generally are the bar, these, these bar end ones. Um, very good to be honest, no vibration, no vibration there. Very nice indeed, very nice. Got no heated grips on here, uh, they are an optional and extra. Could do with them today. I actually had them on on the way over on mine actually, it's quite nice. We're in August, it shouldn't be uh shouldn't be needing heated grips at this time of the year, but anyway. Got the old ride by wire throttle. Very responsive. Very nice. Um it's got the uh, the new design. 12 spoked cast aluminium wheels as well, which I'll, like I say, I'll do a, a thorough walk around of the bike and give it a run through. I'll show you all that. Comes in three colours. Uh, like I say, this one being the matte. The matte colour. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> But yeah, I think um, it's had a few, you know, changes. Uh, light, lighter crank, reduced for reduced inertia. I think you've got a lot of that torque available to you fairly early on, you know, and through the rev range. And oh. I noticed on this that the, uh, the first thing I noticed right away when getting on, I went to pull away that the the bite of the clutch is very. Uh, you know, you've, you've not got a lot there before you let the clutch out before it bites. Not sure if it's the torque assist clutch, I think it probably is. I'll put it up on the screen anyway. So far, very nice. It's got the Race Tech, the Metzler Race Tech RR tyres as well. So, um, yeah, there's no expense there there. But you're good all round really, some high end tyres. Rider position. Yeah, feet peg, foot pegs in a nice, nice uh, position there. No vibes through the foot pegs at the moment. Apart from when you wind it on a little bit. Um, yeah, my first impressions, like I say, you always get the quality build through uh, with, uh, with these Triumphs and the attention to detail as usual. Like I say, many thanks to uh, Norfolk Triumph today for the loan of the bike. Thanks James for that, much appreciated. You know, get yourself over a friendly, friendly bunch there. Grab yourself a test ride if you're in. You know, if you're interested. Got there the dual, the dual uh, analog clocks there as well with your, your speedo and your your rev counter. That's your multifunction. So you've got the LCD displays um, down the bottom there, which are giving me actually there's a little gear indicator there. Although it's quite small, you can see it just to the left there. Uh, various other uh, various other information there obviously your fuel gauge you can scroll through with this this uh, information button here uh, button cluster yep fairly minimalistic but it's all, got all you need there high beam low beam main beam on there information button like I just said indicators <coughs> um, mode button there for your three different rider modes road rain or what like i'm on here sport horn wait for the cars to go past yeah usual sort of horn there um right hand button cluster yeah kill switch and hazards so uh like i say you can add um 
I believe there's about 50, diff, uh, 50 optional genuine Triumph accessories uh, available for the bike, including like heated grips and uh, you know, they, they actually plumb into their existing wiring, so yeah, not too bad there. Um, nice little Monza style fuel cap there. I will put some fuel in in a bit, so we'll fuel her up, see what she'd like to fuel up. Should be no dramas there. Um, yeah, there is uh, many, many rider accessories. Uh, you can customise the bike. You've got a nice quilted seat. Stitched quilted seat, which I think I, I, I actually quite like. It looks good, you know, to give you that, that sort of, you know, retro look. There's so many different um, customisable customizable options. I think this has got the... Yeah, they've changed the indicators on here, I think, as well. We'll have a look at them when we pull over. So yeah, the, the sky's your limit, really. Uh, like I say, they're coming in at eleven thousand pounds. There's three different colours: um, the red hopper, um, the jet black, and this one. Um, yeah, I think the I say the the jet black, I believe, is eleven thousand. It does look like this. The heavens are going to open up very soon, so. <laughs> Very responsive on the throttle, but uh, what do we have in front of us here? A white van man. There's always a white van man. But yeah, anyway, my first impressions are very nice. I've done a very good job. I see the exhaust uh, headers are starting to change colour there with the heat. Very nice indeed. So we'll, we'll uh, stay tuned and we'll pull in and uh, I'll give you a thorough walk around of the bike. The good thing about these uh, sort of, uh, these new Triumphs now as well is the service intervals. I think this is 10,000 mile or a year, whatever comes sooner. I think you'll be doing well to do 10,000 miles in a year. Let me know. How many miles have you done in a year on a motorcycle? Um, but the average rider, yeah, probably be doing well to do that I should think. Uh, yeah, 10,000 mile or or a year. The bike weighs in at 216 kilograms. That's the wet weight. You can't feel any of that weight. It's not a heavy bike. Um, it's very, very nimble. This very nimble. Very nice indeed. They've done a good job. Let's stomp our way through the village here, not to cause any hassle. Exhaust does sound nice. When you go off the gas, you get a little bit of a burble there. <laughs> yeah, I'm very impressed. LED lighting as well. So, uh, you know, for long life of, the, of your, your lighting. Pull over actually. Pull over here. Nothing behind. Oh, it does sound nice. In we go. Cool, yeah. No problems at low speed. What's it like on the gravel? <laughs> Need to go a little bit easy. Yeah. Just have to go a little bit easy here on the gravel. Oh. <laughs> no problems there. A little bit of a wide turning circle there, obviously, because it was on the gravel. No self-cancelling indicator, so I'll turn that off. Uh, neutral. Yeah, no bothers with the neutral. Uh, side sand. There's a big old knobbly piece there on there, which is nice to get the, get onto the get your side stand out. Ooh, get them warm. Here we go. Let's have a look. Well, there she is, the Triumph Speed Twin, 2021. What do you make of that? Sounds gorgeous. Let me know what you think. Right, let's turn her off and uh, I'll go through the specs. Right, okay. So here we have it. The all new for 2021 um, Speed Twin. 1200. Well, uh, yeah, we'll go for the engine. The engine's the liquid cooled 8 valve, single overhead cam with a 270 degree crank angle parallel to in. 
and that looks lovely tucked away in there doesn't it <laughs> yeah uh, I think they've hid the catalyst you see the exhaust coming down here the two into two but you've got a, the catalytic converter I think but a uh, sandwich between the two there and uh, yeah the engine would give you 98.6 brake horsepower at 7,250 rpm which is a it's a fair old um, rev range that isn't it 7,250 uh, 112 newton meters torque at 4,250 rpm lovely love the, the brush stainless as well the two into two exhaust system you know with these two uh, twin mufflers here absolutely lovely there uh, drive yeah obviously a chain dri drive I think I see it, um, the o-ring what's around this side the o-ring type chain there so that'll give you a bit more long long life of your chain clutch uh, wet multi plate torque assist clutch yeah so it is a torque assist clutch and you can actually notice that you know it's very easy for to operate the clutch uh, gearbox six speed gearbox very smooth indeed the gearbox the frame type is a tubular steel uh, with the steel cradles there yeah twin sided aluminium swinging arm tucked away nicely well I say tucked away but yeah very nice uh, the new wheels uh, these are new for 2021 are uh, the uh, the 12 spoked cast aluminium 17 inch uh, three and a half inch uh, diameter uh, the width on, on the front and five inch on the rear again like I said uh, the Metzler Racetech RR tires plenty of grip there with them no problems uh, yeah suspension uh, we've got 43 millimeter upside down Marzocchi forks with 120 millimeter of travel very nice there I think they're non adjustable as well then so uh, on the rear we've got the twin rear shock units with adjustable preload and 120 millimeters of travel again you see the adjuster down there very nice uh, brakes 320 millimeter um, discs with Brembo M50 four piston radial mounted calipers again uh, we've got ABS as well um, yeah very nice then the stop and power is actually quite <laughs> fairly fairly decent I think these discs are actually bigger than on the on the, the new um, street triple RS to be fair yeah the rear disc 220 millimeters around this side with a Nissan two pot float and caliper uh, down there and there's your ABS ring there seat height 809 millimeters um, yeah very comfortable no issues with that at all um, the wheelbase 1100 1413 millimeters is the wheelbase I see it there the contact patch giving you a 22.3 degree rake uh, and a trial of 91.5 what a load of waffle eh <laughs> uh, like I say the wet weight was I've already mentioned this I think uh, 216 kilograms that's the wet weight uh, fuel tank is 14.5 litres uh, of fuel uh, and I hate it when they do this the fuel consumption is in litres per 100 kilometres so uh, 5.1 litres per 100 kilometres so I'll let you do the maths on that one. <laughs> oh they've got a wasp here doesn't have out uh, like I spoke about before, service intervals 10,000 miles uh, or 16,000 kilometres or 12 months, whichever comes first. Colours, yeah, we've got three colour choices jet black, uh, red, which is 11,000, red hopper, uh, which would be quite nice actually, I quite like the red hopper colour, uh, and this one, which is the matte storm grey, 11,200 pounds. And like I said, there's over 50 genuine accessories. You know, so you can really can customise the bike on your, you know, how, how you desire, really. Yeah, let's turn on the ignition. Got the daytime running lights on as well. Uh, yeah, plenty of information there. Um, I th also think you can turn off your traction control as well, I think, on here. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you can here. I'm going to leave it on. Not going to be turning that off. I don't know why you'd want to turn it off. Um, especially on these damp roads. Anyway, uh, what else can I tell you? Lovely. That's the daytime running light lights there. Looks very nice indeed, that, doesn't it? Actually looks like a standard halogen bulb in the headlight there. So, But the, the daytime running light here is uh, LED. 
Uh, these optional extra indicators from Genuine tri uh, Triumph. Let's put them on actually, put the hazards on here. Oh yeah, yeah I like them. Yeah they're different. <laughs> Very nice, I love all this brushed alloy as well. All brushed aluminium. Um, probably I'd probably put a radiator guard on there as well, you know, to cover the radiator. It's actually got a sump guard on there as well, which I think is, I might be wrong, but I think it's an optional extra. So it's got a few extras on here. Um, lovely brushed um, aluminium mud guards is there as well. You could probably put a tail tidy on there to tidy that up nicely. Yeah, very nice indeed. Love the exhaust system. Lovely that. I actually prefer the brush stainless, like I said earlier, to the black. Um, very nice. Nice air intakes tucked in behind here. Um, yeah, very nice indeed. So it's got the big old piece there for the, your side stand. Uh, yeah, clutch cable working away down there. Ooh, try not to fall over. I say the clutch is very light, very light indeed. Okay, well I think we should jump on and uh, ride some more. But there, anyway, yeah, there she is. The Triumph Speed Twin. Bonneville 1200 High Torque. Right, here we go. Let's jump on and ride some more. Uh, just readjust this camera slightly. There we go. Right, let's fire up, side stand up. Clutch in. Oh, <laughs> Does sound lovely this. Oh, sorry about the clutch, the bite of the clutch is, is uh, very, you know, it's just a sort of probably about a, an inch or so, and then uh, a spite in there. Well, here we go. Oh, so we got on the nationals and we'll wind her open a bit and see how she performs. I say overall very very comfortable, I'm very impressed. Um, could I see myself on one? Yeah, probably. Um, I'm quite quite uh what's the word for it? Quite inclined to say I could own one really. Um, like I say if you if you uh, if you're interested, if this is your kind of motorbike, then get yourself out for a a test ride. So we get on the nationals and we'll wind her open, see what she sounds like. Here we go, hold on. Oh, you can notice that torque instantly. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely got some poke. So not loads of brake horsepower, but that torque all the way up through the rev range there come down a few gears and we'll cool yeah Just listen to that noise <laughs> oh not gonna mess with him <laughs> cool. that's how you get lovely attention to detail with these triumphs I mean, you know, this, look at this record Monza, record Monza, Monza style fuel cap. Very nice. I don't know if I'd go for the matte colour. I do like a, uh, a paint job to uh, to polish myself. That's my personal opinion, though. Cool, yeah. Brakes, we'll test the brakes out. Very good, the brakes. Like I say, I think that other than the MCS Brembo Master Cylinder on the on the street on, on the street triple, on the new street triple anyway, I think these these brakes are possibly you know uh, well it's the same calibers, slightly bigger discs, Metzler Railway tyres, so you can oh yeah, need to be careful. I hope you get some good uh, footage. Like I say, it's a bit dull today. Uh, we have had a lot of rain. Oh, there's lovely, lovely roads here. I'll slow down a tad. <laughs> yeah, 
and if you haven't subscribed consider joining the channel plenty more content coming plenty more reviews much appreciate for you joining me today and uh, hit the like hit the like button if you're enjoying the content be much appreciated so the channel is uh, growing quite nicely so much appreciated for your support there yeah, I like I like the dash as well. The, the you know the analog type display with the chrome, all the chrome there as well. It's very nice. You know, keeping it in check with the old traditional iconic look. Stay there. <laughs> Those brakes really are cracking. They really are. Just sort of nursing through the gears there, just to experience that torque again at the lower, you know. Through the gears. Six-speed gearbox, nice and smooth. Oh, uh, slow it down. Turn it round here. Nothing behind. Oh, not so. I'm going to turn around and go the other way, actually because it does actually look like it's going to pour it down with rain. I don't want to get wet today. Story of my life, actually. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that, that engine is talky. Very, very talky. We are in sport mode. What I'll do, actually, is I'll change it over to close the throttle. We can do it on the fly. So we're now in road. Uh, rain. We'll see how she performs. Probably tone down the electronics and uh, increase the old traction control. Suspension's very nice. No issues there. Seat's a little bit hard. The more I seem to sit on it. So there is aftermarket seats overall a very very comfortable bike bars are in a good position here so that, that basically you can ride this bike if you want to you know experience the performance stick it into sport mode and uh, yeah <laughs> you'll see what I mean when you test ride one um, or if you want to you know take it easy take in the scenery Stick it in raid or rain or road and uh, soak up the scenery and enjoy the ride on the speed twin Bonneville 1200. Right, okay, so anyway, I'm going to cut you off there. I hope you've enjoyed the review and uh, take care. I hope I'll see you on the next video. See ya.